Well, now to breaking news. The trial that we have been following since last week involving Dallas Cowboys owner Jerry Jones and a woman claiming to be his daughter. Yeah, we sent out a first alert about that Jerry, story. Two parties did well, end up right. reaching an agreement. So that is Jerry Jones you see leaving the courtroom right now or earlier today. Our cameras were rolling outside the courtroom as he left the courthouse. He had filed a countersuit against a woman who alleged that Jones was the father of her child. Now Jones and Cynthia Davis signed an agreement in 1998 stating that no one was supposed to discuss the possibility that Jones could be the father of her daughter Alexandra. Now Alexandra filed two public lawsuits against Jones including one to establish paternity. Both of those lawsuits were dismissed. Jones filed a countersuit saying this was a breach of their agreement. I regret that it uh, came to this, and uh, uh, I'm glad that it is resolved uh, to uh, everyone's satisfaction. What's next? Uh, the lake. Yeah, we're going to the lake. <laughs> Relaxing. Of course, we're going to have, yeah, we're going to be relaxing. So tell us a little bit about Party. what happened. How did this all come about? Now all claims in the three lawsuits between these parties were dismissed with prejudice. Bisky. That's right, Ashley. Now here's what happened in the courtroom today. So as we take a closer look during testimony today, attorney Don Jack took the stand. Now in 1998, Jack, along with the New York attorney, helped write the agreement between Jerry Jones and the mother and daughter. Now when the agreement was signed, Jones gave the mother and daughter a one-time payment of $375,000. Now during this agreement, Jones shelled out thousands of dollars in cash. And according to the attorney, when the child turned 14, she asked Jones for $125,000 for a house. Now, when the child turned 16, Jerry got her a $75,000 car and Jones also funded several trips to different countries and the child's education at Southern Methodist University. Now, the attorney also said that Jerry got a text from the girl saying that she wanted a portion of her biological father's wealth. Now, right now you can go to KSLA.com or our KSLA News 12 Now app. We'll break down day one and day two of testimony in Jerry Jones trial regarding the paternity agreement lawsuit and we'll hear more from Jerry Jones tonight on KSLA News 12 at 10.